everyone back with the sales update um, from Monday. Eight sales, one of them is missing, so we'll show you that in the next clip. Um, here's an Acura six disc changer for an MDX, got the Bose uh, system in there. Page five on Facebook Marketplace, she said it worked. They changed out stereos. Um, I went to test it. I have a video on how to test the stereos, the older ones like this. Um, you have to buy some parts to make it work, but you can do it. Here's a little code you actually need for this particular one to, um, when you pull a stereo out, if it's not done properly, sometimes they're in, on newer ones, they have um, like a code lock. That way you can't use it. That way people can't steal them and put them in other cars unless you have the lock, the code um, to unlock it. And it's usually like in your um, owner's manual. But on this one, um, she sold it to me and it was locked. I don't know if it was stolen or what have you, but paid five, got the code to unlock it. Um, again, I talk about one of my old videos about how to do it. Um Got it to power up and work. The radio works, but the CD player will not work. Um, it sounds like either a disc got stuck in there or something, and it just makes a lot, a lot of noise. So it's worth like I think eighty to one hundred bucks um, if it's working condition. So I listed it for parts for like forty five or best offer, and someone offered thirty five. Um, and I took it. So I'm going to pack it up. I'm going to take these brackets off um, and just pack them separately with the screws. That way it'll ship easier. So pretty cool. Uh, here's a Mac DNM Opava bootcut jeans, size 36, 32. I paid like five or six bucks. They sold for 30 on a best offer, shipped. Um, here's a Dragon Ball Z Ep Epic Battles disc. It came, I guess, as an exclusive gift with the pre-order of the GameCube game, Dragon Ball Z. I have two of these. They're both brand new. They still have the sticker on them and everything. And um, they, this one sold for 22 or 23 ships, so pretty cool. Here's some old media, super DLT tapes, um, five of them sealed. I spent 40 bucks on some really old media. There was some micro cassettes, some of this stuff, and some other even... Uh, at one time was valuable, but really is just obsolete now. And um, I thought it was going to be a really good investment because it seemed like it was... The ones that were listed were listed high, and there weren't that many, but the problem is just no one is buying it. So this sold for 30 shipped, full price. I sold some of the micro cassettes for another 10 or 15 bucks each. So I think I'm about breaking even. I'm almost there. And I have some other stuff that probably will eventually sell, but wasn't the best buy. I wouldn't do it again, that's for sure. But happy for the 30 bucks there to get rid of it. Um, these Epson Inks were at 12 ship. My sale went off, so they're back to full price. And the lady messaged me and asked if I take 10 for two of them, like 10 each, if I, she bought two. And I said, sure. So I sent her an offer of the 10 each for a quantity of two. So 20 bucks for two of those inks. Happy to get rid of them. The Sony remote, the RMT VT-03, that sold for 10 shipped. And then this Stetson um, hat here does not include the styrofoam head. I just use that for the pictures. It's a size 7. It is a 4X company beaver. And there, you can see Stetson in there. I paid 45 bucks for two hats from a lady. She's a reseller and she's... Oh, wow. Well, sorry. I can't do the one hand, apparently. Uh, she's moving. I bought from them a while back. Um, bought a bunch of stuff like a Rob the Robot Nintendo, if you know what that is. or just a box and the inserts for 10 bucks from her. And I sold it for like 100 so, I mean, I've made some good money off her um, in the past, and usually she has good deals. I was buying a bunch of other stuff because they're moving out of state, and they want to get rid of their last bit of inventory. And then she showed me the two hats, and she goes, oh, you're going to make 80 or 90 bucks each on these, or you'll sell them for that much, so I'll sell them to you for 45 And she already gave me a good deal, a bunch of other stuff, so I just looked quickly, and I was like, okay, sure. And honestly, it's a good buy. It's a solid buy. It's not good or great, in my opinion. Um... So I basically got twenty two fifty in each one. This one sold for ninety ship pretty quick. The other one is not as good. I think it's only going to go for fifty, sixty if I'm lucky. And there's an issue with the other one. The size tag is actually missing, so I don't know exactly how big it is. So I have to do some measurements and try to figure that part out. So in the end, um, there is money in hats, but I'm not still really sure which one sell the best. So I know Stetson's a good brand, but probably uh don't just start buying hats because I sold this one. I'm still learning a lot too. So there's one more sale that happened. I'll show you guys that next. And then if anything else sells in the next hour or two, I'll show you guys that as well. Take care. 
Hey everyone, final two sales for Monday. There's the Epson ink that sold for 12 shipped, and then this Lego base plate ended up selling for 30 shipped. Look out for these base plates. The ones that are raised, they do pretty well. Some of them go for like 40, 50 bucks. All right, take care. Hey everyone, here are the sales from Tuesday. Uh, not a whole lot of sales, but definitely a pretty good um, number because a bunch of ink sold, so that was cool. The best sale, 10 of these, 786. These are the three packs with... Um, an expiration of July 2019 so there's 10 of those I have a couple more listed but the lady wanted 10 she ended up paying like 224 90 almost 225 for all of them so that's sweet another one of these went out a 126 this um, sold for like 1079 Castlevania Symphony of Night pretty rare game sold for 85 shipped it's got a cracked case and I didn't have a good jewel case to switch it with so i just listed it like that and it sold on the best offer for 85 tony hawk underground sold for 11 shipped well, surprisingly a lot of people think that's not worth anything but some of the tony hawk games do sell pokemon red sold for 22 shipped i believe it does have a battery save battery that works and lastly uh, jacksonville jaguars pro line starter size medium jacket paid three bucks when i was in florida it's really beat up it's got stains i did get some of the ones out but not all of them. You can see this is still dark right there. There's a stain there. Not all of them came out. I listed that it was in kind of poor condition, but it's still super cool because it's an earlier one from when the Jaguars came first came. Um, there's a big stain in the back there. So still got a best offer of 25. Someone wanted it. I paid three bucks, so I'm happy with that. When I bought it, I didn't realize there were as much stains. It was folded up, and I saw some on the sleeve and a couple on the front, and I was like, oh, okay. I might get this out. I didn't even see this one in the back, but it worked out three bucks. Um, ended up selling for 25 shipped. Hey everyone, back with Wednesday sales. Pretty good day, getting rid of some bigger items too, so I always appreciate that. We'll jump right in. No clothing items, which is always a bummer. Hoping to move those, but I feel like I always say that, yet we barely ever see them sell, so, um, which is probably why I'm not really picking them up as much. But some good things did sell. This is a huge lot of Wii games, as you can see. The bottom is pretty full down there. A whole bunch um, of Wii games. Most of them have very minor scratches, if any. Um, there are some with a little bit worse, but they're all in here. I think there's 70 games in total. Um, I listed them for like 150 or best offer. I knew I wasn't going to get the 150. I ended up selling for 120. Um, this is all the kind of the junk games that were left when I was buying from my video game source. I'd buy a system with like five to ten games. And I'd pull out all the good games, and then all the rest would just end up in here. Um, I threw away, or not, I put them in the junk pile, the ones that are really, really scratched up. They'll just go in a big lot that I'll sell for someone who wants to resurface them. But all these ones are playable and in pretty good shape. Um, took a best offer of 120 like I said. Really, this is just a huge box in the storage unit, and I want to get rid of it. So I'll make probably, when it's all said and done, maybe a dollar per game, which I have at this point basically nothing in them. So we'll take it. I do this with a lot of different systems, not just Wii, with PS2, Xbox, GameCube, whenever I have a big lot. Usually it's Wii and PS2, it seems to be the most, because I get the most of those, but if I get a bunch of them, I'll just sell them in one big lot. The other big thing to go is all this ETA, um, it's like counting cubes and count base, base 10 sets, I think is what they call it. All different ones in here. Um, there's the ones, there's the tens, and I think there's a couple of uh, hundreds, but mostly ones and tens, different colors. I paid ten bucks for a huge bucket, like one of those big uh, fifty-gallon tubs or whatever of all education type stuff. It was from a teacher. I sold some snap cubes already for I think sixty bucks a couple months ago. I paid ten for everything, and then I just sold these for fifty-five. So. A long time ago, you could actually do even better on these, but now there's so many funds from China on eBay that it's the, the market's really, sorry, just um, dropped on it. So took a best offer of 55. It's super heavy, so it's either going to have to probably go in a board game box and ship for like almost 20 bucks or whatever it is, or we'll check pirate ship and maybe it'll be cheaper to ship it in two separate smaller boxes. So we'll take a look, but either way, I already made all my money in the other one. So if we can make 20 or 30 bucks out of this, that'd be cool. Um, next, ESPN 2K5, PS2 game sold for like 16 or 17 bucks. Look out for this game. People uh, tend to overlook it. I was just at a garage sale this weekend, past weekend, and I picked up two of these for a buck each. Um, 
out of the they had a bunch of video games they were a swap meet seller but they were set up at their home today and all their other games were priced at like three four five dollars all sports games were a buck and these two i had found two copies of this sitting there so that sold for 16 or 17 ships so pretty good um it's on the ps2 that it seems to do the best espn 2k5 it's actually a pretty fun game i used to have that um a black and decker charger sold for like almost 20 bucks 19 something i paid 10 bucks for this with a couple of drills a while back and um i sold the drill one drill didn't work one did i think i sold one drill i stole the other one for parts if i ever find some more i'll lot them together and then i sold this for 20 so not a great deal but drill chargers do sell so that's cool six um epson inks these are the last of the 126 one person bought them all at like 1079 or something like that i think they sold for almost 64 bucks um but yeah this is the last bit of this particular ink so happy to get rid of that Here's a little Dodge key. Got this from my from my in-laws. They had a Dodge they sold a while back, and they found this key cleaning up. It sold for like 11 or 12 ships. So sometimes keys do well. The key file, they sold a couple BMW ones for pretty good money. Here's a Super Pro um, hair dryer. Still in the box. It is used, but the box is trashed. Um, it's a pretty cool one by GE. I paid like four or five bucks, and it sold, I think, for 39, 40, 45, something like that. You'll see on the screen, so... And then lastly, two of these fellows um, CD cases. They are this one's a little dirty and beat up. This one too. I bought a bunch of rap CDs and hip hop from one of my sources. They were all in here. I don't like doing just CD only a lot, like disc only. I like them when they have the cases and stuff. But he talked me to buying this for ten bucks. These were both full. Problem was, as I started looking further through the binder, a lot of them were actually. Um, what are they called? Burn CDs. There were some legit ones, but there were a lot of burn ones too. So um, I ended up, sorry, I knocked over a stack of games down there. Um, I ended up uh, putting them up for 30 bucks just for these binders. Sent an offer out to a buyer for 25 because I had two watchers and someone took it. So I think they hold like 200 and something CDs each. So they are pretty nice, but they are just kind of beat up. So I'm happy to get that money for them. We'll get them out of here. I'll just actually put them in a big polynor like this. And see what the cost is pirate ship. So we'll take a look. But we'll make a ton. But we'll recover some of our loss. And then we'll wait for those wrap CDs to finally sell. That's it for tonight. Oh, actually there's one more sale. I'll hopefully you'll see in the next clip. We might have a couple more. We still have an hour left. But um, I sold a pair of shoes for 25 bucks or something. So you should see those coming up. Hey everyone. Back with the final sale from Wednesday. These are the Heelys shoes. Um, I think they're a size like 3 or 4 youth picked these up for four or five books i think they're called the mary jane um socialite heelys i think is what i listed them as from based on comps paid four or five bucks from a little thrift shop and sold them for 25 ships on a best offer if you can find the older heelys that are like the adult sizes they do really well hello everyone hope you're doing well um these are the sales from thursday pretty good day i think over 200 dollars in sales which is pretty cool and a good variety of stuff start off with the best sale this is a lot of story time treasury books. That's my son in the background. So a whole bunch of them there. We paid anywhere from like a dollar, 50 cents to a dollar for each one. They were at a library sale. So we probably, I'd probably estimate we have about 10 bucks in them. They sold best offer for a hundred bucks shipped. Uh, they will go media mail. So that's why I love book lots. Um, you can get them usually pretty cheap and there is some value depending on which one it is. Two more helmets sold from the little helmet lot we bought. Here's a, I think a Denver Broncos one sold for 11 shipped and this one sold for 15 shipped. It's a Buffalo Bills. They went to the same buyer, so 26 shipped and they'll go first class. Here's a little Lasco um, fan remote. These do okay. They sold for $13.49. I just threw it in a big lot of stuff I bought. So put batteries in it, tested the buttons and the lights came on. So I assumed it worked. Um, here are two Sony... Um, the navigation controllers, two of them I bought from uh, GameStop for $1.99 each. They um, sold for 23 shipped, I think. So if you see them at your GameStop and you can get two of them for buck ninety nine each, plus tax, obviously, but you can still make some money. They go first class. Here's a Harley belt buckle, sold for $23.23 on a best offer to someone who alleges to be a veteran who does leather working, doesn't have a lot of money, but he really wanted it to make a belt for it. So uh, I took the best offer. It was listed at 35 or best offer. So I don't even know what I paid. Maybe five bucks. But happy to get rid of that. 
four little Einstein figures. Remember these faces? There is another one. I think his name's Quinn, but he's not here. Um, I got these in just a big lot of stuff at the storage unit guy. My son actually found them, gave them to me. I sold just these four figures for 36 shipped. So pretty cool. Here's a, oh, I'm going to forget this. Something British Lions. I think it's like a rugby team or something like that. It's a tie from 2013. You'll see on the screen. You hope you'll see the title too. I uh, paid two or three bucks for this at a thrift store, and it sold for 50 on a best offer. It's going to Australia, so pretty cool. And lastly, two PS2 games, uh, Matrix, The Path of Neo. I think that sold for 10 or 12, something like that. And then Blitz, The League for PS2, also sold for 10. So that's everything, and I'll show you guys um, what sold this weekend. Hey everyone, back with a uh, sales update for the weekend of Mother's Day. You're probably seeing this after the fact, a couple weeks later. I'm usually a couple weeks behind, but... Slow weekend, 14 sales. Um, before I get started, I want to thank everyone who's a mother out there or an aunt or grandma, whatever it is, if you're doing the role of being a mom. You guys are doing awesome. We all appreciate you. Probably doesn't get said enough, but I just want everyone to know how appreciated you are because um, just certain things in life, even me growing up now as a, I guess a young man is what they say. Um, it's I always go look back and appreciate all the things my mom did, and I didn't really appreciate it or say it as much back then, but looking back... I can say now that um, I really appreciate all she did for me. I appreciate my wife now as a mother for our little ones. And um, anybody out there who's a mother, we thank you. And again, you probably, this is belated, but hopefully again, it's a reminder for all that you guys do and how much you are appreciated. Um, there's nothing like my mom and, you know, her nurturing and all that. So again, thank you. And now we'll jump right into what's sold. So slower weekend, probably because partially because of the holiday, but even then was still pretty slow with the number of sales, but I'm very happy with what sold and the prices we got. So we'll jump right in. Cooks Illustrated. These are like a bunch of books about cooking, obviously. You can see the years, there's two th uh, late 2000s, up to about 2014. I paid a buck a piece for these. Um, they even have them earlier ones. I've sold these before if you've been watching my channel. They're not that common, but if you find them, they do well. Paid a dollar each, so that's eight bucks, I believe. Sold them for 81 shipped. Um, I'll probably ship them, I think they're pretty close to me, so I might just ship them priority, because I think they're like right around the corner, so we'll see, um, but normally you could go medium mail to kind of a, deal with the weight issue and still make pretty good money, so something to look out for. They do have like magazine ones as well that don't have the nice hardcovers, they don't seem to be nearly as good. Another book here, Toyota Chandra 2001 Volume 1 Repair Manual. This one addresses maintenance, preparation, specs, and diagnostics. This sold for 45 on a best offer. Had it listed for 55. It came out of a lot of manuals I bought on OfferUp for like 65 or 75 bucks. I think there were seven or eight Toyota ones, and then a bunch of um, kind of like Hanes or whatever the off-brand companies that make the manuals. And I sold those two right away for like 10 or 15, and then I've been selling these for like 35, 45 each. So. We probably have three left, and I think we've probably already doubled our money. So that's pretty good, and we'll still make some more. So look out for manuals. This is an official Toyota one, so that helps in the years of 2001. So it's still relevant enough where there's trucks on the road where people might want to repair and do it themselves. There becomes a certain tipping point where cars, like the 90s ones, a lot of them, unless it's something people are restoring, gets to a point where um, there's just not enough on the road and the demand's really small for the manual. So some of them will take a long time to sell, but... Look out for ones that are kind of in the 2000s now. For the OEM ones, you can do well. Here's a Microsoft 360 wired controller. Um, this one, normally they have a little battery pack in the back here. I used to play on one of these when I was playing Halo a lot for on the Xbox 360. So um, these are awesome because you don't need a battery. Just hook right up into the USB part, and then you're good to go. Um, this sold for 32 ships. A lot of people don't realize that these ones that are wired actually sell for... A lot of times better than the ones that are battery itself for. So if you can find them and they work, that's awesome. The battery ones still sell too, but you got to test them, make sure the battery pack's good. Or at least the one that takes actual batteries, make sure it works. So that's that. Um, here's a mic here. This is an A-Static JT30. Well, those kind of old school looking mics. Um, I don't know if it works, just has a wire coming out the end. Um, it sounded like there was something a little bit loose inside. You might barely be able to hear that, I'm not sure, but listed it for parts with that in the description. It sold for 60 on the best offer. If they work, they can go for, I think, like over 100, so pretty cool. Here's a Braun blade. It comes with this little, I guess, 
protector or a little carrying part. Um, this was 18 shipped. I've been selling a bunch of bronze stuff the past couple weeks, so that's another one out of that pile. Paid 10 bucks. I sold something for like 29, sold something for like 26, and this for 18, and we still have more to go. Um, two pieces here. If you've watched me, you may have seen these a long time ago. These are Don Joy uh, for their like ice machine where you put ice in there and it pumps cold water into a pad that you kind of wrap around your injured area. Like, and usually for like knee replacements and stuff, though, you can get these. Um, I had one of them I sold for like 90 bucks. Again, you got to be careful because they some of them do fall under the medical category where you can get in trouble for listing them. So, I'm not saying you should, but one way that a lot of people sell things that don't seem to be get taken down is by selling the parts. So this was from one of the pads there. I pulled out these two little connectors and they sold for 18 ship just for those. So pretty cool there. Um, we got a little helmet, another one from the helmet lot. A little Jets one, it's got the little airplane jet. That's pretty cool. This sold for 20 shipped. That was one of the other better ones I had. I have one more I think that's super good and the rest are kind of kind of be the lower end ones I think. So we'll see how they do. Video games, Bigfoot for the Nintendo, sold for 8 ship, just left the sticker on there, no point wasting the time to get it off, it's not worth enough. And then PS2 Final Fantasy Collector's Edition, um, this one sold for 10 ship, not a whole lot, pretty cool case, but not worth too much. And then two Epson 786 inks, sold for like $7.99 each, so for that $15.98 or something like that. Um, not a whole lot, they will still go first class, uh, that's out of the big, the big ink haul. Arizona T, um, like a pullover. I think it might be, yeah, I think it's new with tag. I'm not trying to remember. To, you'll see it in the listing, hopefully. It sold for like $31.50. I think I paid five or six bucks. But yeah, Arizona T, that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's got the new tag that says like Arizona T or something like that. Check me in the photo. Um, and then two more clothing items. So these are the. Two other clothing items. This one I actually had in one of those like nice dry clean bags almost. I um I put the, the nice jackets and stuff. I hang them in the storage unit that way. This is a dress blues size 43 L. It's got the buttons and everything. Some patches already on it. As you can see. Came out of a big military lot that I bought. And this sold for $65 on the best offer I believe. I paid $90 for everything and got a bunch of stuff. I already made money so this is just added on top. So these can do well. Um, I don't think you can ship some of this stuff overseas. I think the military stuff is the one thing you can't do but I'm not sure on this particular piece but always double check on the military stuff because some of it cannot go overseas. And then the last thing is um, crazy. It's a $125 shirt so you can kind of see it there. Probably know the brand just by looking at the shirt, um, but it is QG or whatever you pronounce it. Made in Italy. This is like a vintage. It is silk, 100% silk. Crazy pattern. Found this at a kind of a higher end garage sale. At least where they lived was like super nice, and they had a lot of really nice high end stuff there. And all their prices were ridiculous, except for their clothes. Their clothes were. Um, let's see if I can find the tag somewhere. I don't know, maybe it's on the inside, but their clothes were the only thing that wasn't um, priced high. You can see there is some damage here. Sorry, I was trying to show you guys. Right there, a little tear. And there's another smaller one inside the collar there, but um, this was three bucks. I bought another one. It's a long sleeve one. Kind of similar, but not as old. Also for three bucks. And um, yeah, I had this one up for 200 or best offer because someone had one that looked like it sold for that much, but theirs had no damage. They listed it as new other, so mine was obviously not near that good of condition. And on a vintage shirt, I would never put, you know, new other or like new anyways, because it is used. So the best I'd ever put for clothing, unless I was brand new with the tags, is going to be good. And even then, I'm probably, I just, I'm a little bit more critical of my stuff. I don't want to say something's way better than it is. And then someone gets in like, oh, it feels like it's been worn. Well, yeah, it has. It's used, so. You know, it's a little side rant, but um, yeah, this is really cool. I mean, honestly, the pattern looks great. It is not um, textured or whatever, kind of like the sweaters are. It is just all one um, fabric piece, but it's made to look like that. Uh, paid three bucks. Had an offer come in. I listed auction style first, I think at one forty nine or something like that. No bids. Switch it over to full price sale. I think I bumped it up to two hundred or something like that. And then someone came through and said, "Hey, um, I'll do one twenty five." They had like eight feedback out of New York. I wasn't sure at first. Not that feedback matters. So I'm like, hmm. 
can I get more? Like maybe it's just so rare that it's just it's gonna take the right buyer, but I could hold on. Sat on it, sales were super slow. Saturday morning rolls around, I go, you know what? I'm taking it. So I took it for 125, pack it up, ship it out priority mail for sure, so we get the insurance on it in case anything happens. But super cool shirt. Hope you guys um, kind of burn that in your brain. So a lot of people only look out for the sweaters, but if you can find one of these at some old estate sale or someone, you know, has this kind of stuff, if you can find the silk shirts, they do awesome. And it seems like the short sleeve ones are harder to find than the long sleeve ones. So from my research, but I'm not an expert on vintage clothing. But 125 ship, so. Probably one of the better um, shirt scores I've ever had. You can kind of better better look at it, maybe. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty good sale. Uh, I had one other thing sell. It's a mug for sixty dollars, which would be my best mug ever. Um, and we'll see if they pay. They offered sixty. I accepted, but I haven't gotten the payment yet. So hopefully that comes through, or at least comes through the next couple days. There is still two hours left, almost. Here on Sunday, Mother's Day, maybe there's some late night shoppers that we'll have. If not, this will wrap things up. And thank you guys, as always, for the support, feedback, and I hope you guys have a good day and hope you're killing it out there. Take care. Hello, everyone. Back with the final sale from the weekend, Mother's Day weekend. Uh, four more inks sold. Lady bought all four of them for like $99, $96 or something like that. So she had actually bought... 10 other ones for me previously i'm guessing she got them and liked them because she reordered four more um and these are going to go out today and then i already have some sales for monday so that'll be in the next video take care